Thank you very much, Ayanda. Now, once again, I'm privileged enough to be surrounded by silverware. Teko Medise has paid us a visit to the studio. Mamelodi Sundown's playmaker Teko Medise says it was humbling to be named midfielder of the season at the APSA Premiership Awards. And that was added to his award as a Netbank Cup player of the year after his team successfully beat Ajax Cape Town on penalties to secure the title. He now joins us in studio. Good to have you here. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, uh, you have been Footballer of the Year. I mean, you, you're no stranger to awards when it comes to these year-end awards, but what do these two specifically mean to you? Um, first of all, being um, Midfield of the Year, I mean, with all the midfielders in South Africa, there's so many, and there's so many good ones as well. And then to be, to be given a trophy that says that you, you're one of the best or you're the best in the country at that time, so it's, it's very humbling for me. And then it shows as well in my career as well that there's been consistency in my play. And the, to be named as the Netbank Cup player, player of the tournament? I mean, um, first of all, it was my first time winning the Netbank Cup. And uh, the last time I played in the final, we lost. And uh, to win it, you know, for me, it was, it was very special for the team as well. And um, to, be, to be the player of the tournament, I mean, at the age that I am, I mean, it's, it's always nice to, to, to win um, um, trophies as well. But it was important for the team to win it. We'll speak a little bit about your age and how you are able to maintain your form. Mm. But let's chat a little bit about the Netbank Cup because you guys had a, quite a difficult season. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs ran away with the league, mm -hmm. one that you guys were trying to defend. So this was the last piece of silverware on offer. I mean, that penalty shootout, what, what was the talk in the, in the dressing room before it? I mean, before, before the game, we knew that Ajax is, is very tough and... Uh, um, Obviously, we knew that they're going to give us, you know, the run for our money. But I mean, uh, on the penalty shootout, it's a gamble. It's like a lottery. So anybody can win. And uh, for us, we trusted our goalkeeper because we practiced them so many times. But at uh, the end of the day, you can practice as many, as many times as you can. Yeah. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Lucky enough for us, you know, uh, we won it. But we were scared, you know, and the coach <laughs> as well was very scared. And then he just told the guys that whoever feels confident to take the penalties, they should. How disappointed were you guys that you were unable to defend your... Uh your league title? I mean, first of all, it was very, very difficult knowing that for the fact that we've been number two since the season started and then Chiefs had so many, so many points ahead of us. We knew that it was going to be difficult for us to catch, to catch them and uh, they didn't want what happened last season to happen now. So it was very difficult and we knew uh, at a certain stage in our, in our games that we, you know, it's not going to be possible for us to, to, to win the league. So we might as well secure the second spot for, for the Champions League. The other one is Africa, competing in Africa, yeah. because I know you guys had, had wanted to do well on the continent mm -hmm. um, and also to kind of emulate what Orlando Pirates have been able to do of late and kind of regain that, that title that Mamelodi Sundowns once had, once had as, you know, the conquerors of Africa. What mm -hmm. happened in the CAF Champions League? I mean, it was, it was very difficult. We, we saw how Orlando Pirates uh, um, played in the Champions League because they were in the, uh, in the finals as well. So they inspired us. We, we thought with the team that we have, we stand a good chance of winning it. And once we were there, you know, we, we got hit by reality. Those kind of things, they need experience. And Orlando Pirates have been there before. So um, we lost. We couldn't score as many goals as possible here in, uh, in, in Pretoria. So we found it very difficult in Congo. So we were one goal less for us to qualify for, for the next round. So we, those are the kind of things that we've learned so that next time when you have such an opportunity, we need to score as many goals as possible. Have you guys spoken about uh, CAF Champions League for, for next season? Yeah, we have. I mean, it's okay. important for, 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 for the president as well and uh, for the whole team. You know, we, we, we want to be back there and, and, and be the best in, in Africa because of we always uh, um, have kind of players that can play there. So we just hope that this time around, you know, we can do better than we did that season. Uh, you guys are also saying goodbye to your captain, Alia Skit. Yeah. I mean, Alia Ali, Ali is, 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 is one of the players that really, really helped the team to win the league and to win the Netbank Cup as well. To see him leave, it was very sad. But we knew anyway that he was going to leave. But he also tell, told us that he needs to, to win something with the team before he leaves. And then we clear that we also helped uh, in, in, in that aspect for him, when he leaves, he leaves on the high. So we just hope that whoever that was playing at the back with him, they've learned from him because he's a great leader. Who's going to be able to replace him? 
I'm not sure who's going to replace him. Um, um, I haven't spoken to the coach about that, but there's equally good players within the team that have been waiting for their chance as well. So we just hope that uh, whoever that been given a chance and been given a role as well to lead the team will do so. Would you like to captain the team? No, I don't want to captain the team. I think I, I play better with with uh, without the arm belt. And um, but if been given to me, I mean, this, it's a responsibility that I can't run away from. All right, lovely stuff. And the ambitions for for Bafana. I mean, I still want to play for Bafana, Bafana, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, you, you have to be chosen to play there. And um, I think uh, um, I'm not far off before being chosen. I think I'm playing very well. I mean, it's been consistent all, all over the place. And I just hope that I've been given a chance here at home. Even if it's one game, I'll be happy. All right. I wish we had a little bit more time to chat uh, about how you maintain your fitness and your style because lots of people, uh, lots of men see you as a style icon. But congratulations uh, for winning the Midfielder of the Year at the ABSA Premiership Awards as well as the Nedbank Cup Player of the Tournament after Mamalodi Sundowns were crowned as the Nedbank Cup champions. Congratulations and thank you very much for paying us a visit. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right. That's Midfielder Tekomodise inside our Morning Live studios. Let's check